Hello, I'm Michaela, and today I'm going to review Whistle in the Dark by Emma Healy. This book is about Jen, who's the mother, and her daughter, uh, Lena. And her daughter went missing for four days. And Jen is at our wit's end trying to find out what happened to her during those four days. I found this very easy to read and actually really enjoyed the dialogue in this one. Where Lana's sense of humour come through and a couple of bits in the book, which I quite enjoyed, it made us, it made us laugh. Now it's nice to see that despite all of the bad things in the book that are going on, it's nice to see that she, she still had her humour. And I think the humour helped the book be as good as it could have been. I think with Lana and Jen being the most prominent characters in the book, that you spend the most time with, they are the most relatable. Lana is very interesting to read about. Um, she's got mental illness, she's got things like depression, which is very interesting to read about because you want to know, you want to know and understand what goes through her head. And I think the perspective of a mother in the book gives it something a little different if you're not a parent, and if you're not the parent and but possibly the child it gives you that perspective as well and i enjoyed the perspective well, the perspective of our dad and sister and there was a little snippet of a conversation that i liked of a sister coming out which um isn't a spoiler at all you know she's gay at the start like near at the start of the book so it's not really surprising um but I found that quite funny as well. But I overall really enjoyed this book and I give it five stars on Goodreads. And if you haven't read any of this book before, then Elizabeth is Missing was our first book, which was also really good. Uh, she had written that really well as well. Um, and I recommend that book anytime, really, before or after this, it doesn't really matter. But I definitely recommend Emma Healy's writing and I hope you've enjoyed this video today and thanks for watching.